Can you send an NFT as a gift? The answer is yes, you can. I'll show you how. Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the NFT Brief. In this video, I'm gonna walk through exactly what you need to send an NFT as a gift, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it. It's pretty easy. If you enjoy the content in this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you're looking at this video, wondering if you can gift an NFT and if there's any tax implications, that's not what I'm gonna cover. So you really do need to check that with your financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. It's for informational purposes, and I'm just gonna explain the process of sending an NFT to a friend or a family member as a present. First up, your prerequisites. You're gonna need some Ethereum to buy the NFT that you're going to give to somebody as a gift, or to pay the cost of gas, which is basically the fee for transferring an NFT from your wallet to theirs. You can use any cryptocurrency exchange to purchase Ethereum. I currently use Kraken the most, but anyone will do. Coinbase is just fine. You're also going to need a cryptocurrency wallet like MetaMask for interacting with the NFT website or marketplace of choice. MetaMask is the easiest to use, but there are other options that you can try too. I'll focus on MetaMask for the purposes of this video. And you're going to need the NFT or cryptocurrency address of the person that you're going to send the NFT to. If they have one already and you know it, great. That will make things a lot easier. If not, you can set one up on their behalf on MetaMask with the caveat that you're going to have to manage their seed phrase or give it to them at some point and then perhaps they can go away and set up a hardware wallet. So this could be a good thing to do if your friend is interested in NFTs, has heard you talking about NFTs, but perhaps they haven't taken the jump yet because of all of these extra steps. If you have an NFT that you want to transfer to a friend, it's pretty easy to do. Connect to OpenSea with your MetaMask profile, then navigate to the profile section to inspect the contents of your wallet. Select the NFT in question then you're gonna click on the transfer button. Now, all you need to do is put in the cryptocurrency address or the EN address or the ENS address for the wallet in question. So in this case, I'm gonna transfer this to become a writer.eat, which is one of my uh, ENS addresses. I'm gonna click transfer. Now I'll be prompted to sign the transaction on MetaMask. Um, you can see gas is quite low at the moment, so it's costing me less than a dollar. So if you see gas is quite expensive, Perhaps just wait till the blockchain is less congested. I'm gonna go ahead and pay it because it's only 92 cents. Then click confirm. Now uh, the transaction just should just take a few moments to go through. Once you've received a notification that the transfer has gone through, go to the search bar in OpenSea, paste in the address of the wallet that you just transferred your NFT to. It should pop up and then simply click on it, click on own buy, and now you can inspect the contents of that wallet. If I scroll down, I should be able to see headwind.eat, which is the NFT that I transferred. Nice one. But what if you don't want to use OpenSea? Well, this is where learning how to use Etherscan is really helpful. So go to etherscan.io and you're gonna paste in the address of the wallet that you just transferred the NFT to. And this way you can verify it on the blockchain yourself. As they say in NFTs, verify, don't trust. So you're gonna search for the wallet in question. Then you're gonna, when the wallet address appears, simply click on it. Now you'll see all of the transactions that have taken place in this particular wallet. But what you're looking for is ERC721 token transactions. Now this may vary depending on the type of NFT, but usually you'll find them here. And then you can see here that the token has successfully been transferred from my wallet to this wallet and the transaction has been verified on the blockchain. And I can also see the token that was transferred as well. You can follow all of those exact steps if you're purchasing an NFT and you want to send it straight to somebody's wallet rather than paying gas. So I have on screen the 10K TF collection. If I wanted to purchase one of these as a gift for somebody, I would just simply click on buy now. Make sure I have enough Ethereum inside of my wallet. And rather than sending it to my wallet, I'm going to click on send to a different wallet. And then I'll paste in their address and follow all of those steps that I showed you a moment ago. So what type of NFTs would make a good gift? Well, it really depends on the NFT in question and what it represents. Some NFTs are designed as artwork that are meant to be enjoyed on screen or even as physical prints, which I'll cover in a few moments. Scroll down in OpenSea and you'll see that there are art NFTs, collectibles, domain names, music, photography, sports, trading cards, utility, and virtual worlds. So ask yourself, what would your friend enjoy the most? Chances are, if they're not really into the space, they're not gonna get the concept of virtual worlds which apply to the metaverse. The same could be said for utility tokens. Personally, I like to collect domain names, but I think a domain name would be a weird present to give somebody. Collectibles are certainly nice presents to give somebody, although the CryptoPunks and Board Ape Yacht Club, which are featured here, are all crazy expensive. So I guess you have a really special friend if you're gonna pay six figures for one of these NFTs to give to them. 
I would say for your friend who's getting into NFTs, perhaps artwork is the simplest NFT to gift them, if only because it's easy to explain and easy to understand. So while you can pick these up on OpenSea, I actually recommend using the Artblocks website to learn more about the different projects. There are three different collections. There are Artblocks curated collections. These tend to be collections that are selected by the, the board um, and they also usually have a good floor price. So you're going to be spending several hundred, if not thousands of dollars on these. The Playground collections are Artblocks projects that have been created by artists who were previously created and they tend to be a little bit cheaper. And then the Factory collection includes projects that are selected directly by Artblocks and highlights their standard for technical quality and artistic beauty. In short, these are the cheapest Artblocks collections. So you could pick one of these up for one or two hundred dollars, several hundred dollars or several thousand dollars. Now, obviously that does depend on the project and what who the artist is and what the artwork represents. But if I go to Artblocks Factory and if I scroll down, I can quickly find some NFTs uh, that are still being minted, which means I can still pick them up and they have a reasonably affordable floor price. So for example, here is Three Minute Meditations. This is actually a, an audio visual NFT, but this costs approximately 0.1 ETH to mint, which works out as a little over $160, which is probably a nice amount of money to spend on a present. And these are available to mint. One type of NFT you may want to consider gifting are art NFTs. That's because these are fun to collect and they're not necessarily NFTs that people buy because of their floor price. They buy them because they like the art, they want to support the artist, or they simply want to learn more about generative art. And of course, you're going to use art blocks to do just this. The process is pretty similar to OpenSea. Find a project that you're interested in, do a little bit of research, and make sure you have the wallet address for the person that you're going to send it to. And of course, have MetaMask set up on your browser. Then you're going to go to the NFT in question. So I'm going to select the inner world. Now you're going to click connect to purchase, select MetaMask, and you should see a little pop-up or a transaction that you need to sign. Then once you've done that, it will give you an option of minting this NFT or sending it to a different wallet. So in this case, I'm going to click purchase two and I'm going to paste in the address that I want to send this to. Now I should be prompted to sign a transaction in my MetaMask wallet. So you can see here that this will cost me $170 uh, for, or $182, which is 0.1 each at the time of recording this video, and also $12 in gas. So I'm actually not going to go ahead and gift this NFT because it's not one that I want to pick up. But you can see that depending on the marketplace that you use, what the NFT is and the project, you may pay more or less gas. So do factor that in before you decide to give somebody an NFT. Another factory project that stood out is Crypto Countries. These would make good physical art if I chose to print one of these out. It doesn't look like the project is minted out at the time of recording this video, uh, although it does have quite a high floor price. Uh, so when I went over to uh, OpenSea, the floor price was 0 0.58 and the total volume is 0 0.25. But again, you're picking these up because it's a gift and not because you're trying to make a big profit or for your friends to profit. So basically just find a factory Artblocks NFT project that you like to look off and which your friend will like, and then consider go ahead and picking that up as a gift. And then you can have a nice conversation about generative art and NFTs. As you may have seen, the floor price of the NFT dictates how much the gift is going to cost. Perhaps you don't have hundreds of dollars that you want to spend on an NFT as a present, but you still want to give somebody an NFT. What should you do? Well, if so, consider using an alternative blockchain like Solana. You can use Magic Eden to purchase an NFT on Solana and send it to somebody in much the same way. So you'll need some Solana token, which you can pick up on Kraken or Coinbase or any good cryptocurrency exchange. You're not going to use MetaMask. Instead, you're going to use Phantom Wallet. Works in the exact same way as MetaMask. You'll get your seed phrase, you deposit Solana from the exchange to your wallet, and then you connect it to Magic Eden and sign a transaction. Once you've done that, simply pick the NFT that you want to purchase. Gas is pretty much non-existent on Solana, although the blockchain does have some other issues, which I won't go into in this video. So you don't really need to worry about gas fees. So go ahead and purchase the NFT uh, as normal. Then when you have the NFT, select your Solana wallet. Uh, then you can navigate to your wallet and you can view your NFTs. And if you want to send one to somebody, simply select on it or select it, click send, and then you're gonna paste in the recipient's Sol address. So again, the caveat here is that you will need to have the sole address of the person that you're sending the NFT to. 
or you'll need to set it up on their behalf. If you bought somebody an NFT, but you're not convinced they're gonna go through the various steps of managing their wallet or interacting with the NFT in some way, you could get them a physical copy instead. So you can use any printing service to print up an NFT, because after all, most NFTs are digital artwork. Now, obviously, if you're gonna get it turned into physical artwork, the NFT should look good at scale. So this is where some of the art blocks NFTs can be worth picking up or something that represents a type of generative art or glitch art or factional art, or basically something that's designed to be visually enjoyed. To be honest, pixel art NFTs do not really translate well to physical artworks. Anyway, you can use a print service like the one I have on screen. Please note, I have not tested this service. This is simply the one that appeared at number one in Google search results. Then you can send them the image file because you of course own the image file and ask them to create a physical print. You can put that in a frame and give it to your friend. And then you can also write a little note that explains that this is an NFT too. And if they chose to get into the space, you can help them learn more about it. That's how you gift an NFT. In summary, it's pretty easy to do. You can just simply transfer it via OpenSea or depending on the website in question, you may be able to do it there. And of course, you do use blockchain tools like Etherscan so you can inspect that the gift went through. And don't forget to have a conversation with your friend about what the gift is if you do choose to give them physical artwork representing the NFT. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments section below and feel free to ask questions. If you wanna get more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.